So I'm gonna scroll down here, click on show more, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the tags. So as we've seen before, I've actually skipped putting in the tags in the SEO studio because I like the tag tool that you have here a lot better. So as you can see, our tag box is currently empty. And what we wanna do is we wanna fill it up with relevant tags, so relevant keywords to our video. So when we click on tag tools right here, and we scroll down, then we can see that TubeBuddy is recommending specific tags for the keyword that we wanna go for. So as you can see, the keyword that we wanna go for is TubeBuddy Tutorial 2021. However, as this is a very specific keyword, TubeBuddy is only able to give us one recommendation where TubeBuddy Tutorial 2021 is actually included. So I wanna have more recommendations. So what I like to do is to simply remove this keyword by clicking on this little cross icon right here, confirming this, and then they will, um, TubeBuddy will load more recommendations right here. And you can also click on refresh scores, and then you can see the SEO score of each of these keywords that you can add as a tag. So the higher the score, the easier it will be for your video to rank for that specific keyword. So here you could either simply click on each of these keywords and then it will automatically put that keyword here in your tag box. And the maximum number of characters you can use here is 500 characters. So you wanna make sure to, to basically add as many tags as you can to get um, kind of related to as many keywords and as many videos that also use these tags. Now you could either do this all manually by clicking on each of these tags that you think is relevant for your video. What I actually like to do is to simply use the Keyword Explorer, which you also have access to here through this uh, upload process. So when we click on Keyword Explorer right here, and then we can type in our main kind of broader keywords, so we get a lot of recommendations. So I would type in TubeBuddy, then click on Explore, and now I would go here, click on common tags on the right side, and then I can see the most commonly used tags for videos related to TubeBuddy. So what I usually do is to simply select as many as I can use of those, so click on select um, to video tag limit, and then it will simply select as many as I can actually use until I hit the character limit, which is 500. And then I simply go to action right here, click on insert in current video. And then when I close the keyword explorer, then you can see it's automatically adding all of these tags into my tag box until I have hit the character limit. Now what I could then do is maybe remove some of the tags that I think are maybe too broad that aren't related really well to the video that I wanna do. So for example, and these are actually pretty good, these are all related. But let's, example, let's for example say I wanna remove this tag right here, Nick Nimmin, and then I maybe also wanna remove YouTube because maybe this is too broad as well. And then what I can do is fill up the remaining uh, character space here uh, manually by simply choosing some of those keywords that I see here on the bottom until I actually hit my tag limit. So the tag strategy that you wanna use for your videos is really up to you. There are many people that say you should have like high volume keywords that get a lot of traffic, 50% of those, put those in the tags, and then the other 50% fill them up with very relevant um, tags. So it's really up to you. My personal strategy is simply to use those keywords that are just relevant for the video. So if I do a TubeBuddy tutorial, I wanna use tags um, that are related to TubeBuddy because and the people that are actually gonna click on my video and watch it all the way through are the people that already know about TubeBuddy and the ones that are very interested in this tool. So that's, pers that's my personal strategy. Um, it's, it's up to you uh, what kind of tags you wanna use. I would simply recommend to use keywords that are actually relevant to the content of your video.